instead of, you know, allowing the mom to sort of have a conversation with him and, and to get him ready, they just came in really heavy handed and, and traumatized the boy and the mom and every single community member that watched that. A video on social media shows an Inuk child being forcefully taken away from a visit with his mother by police in northern Quebec. Advocates are saying this incident is not isolated and has happened time and time again and will continue to happen if nothing changes. This picture of this video that happened that's horrific. This is happening all the time. Indigenous folks, on average, I see apprehensions look more like that in their homes than in white homes. Um, in a white home, I can guarantee you the conversation would have happened. It would have, it would have gone a little bit, you know, it, it wouldn't have gotten to that point. City News does not know the context of the video before the filming started. It was shared by the child's mother on Facebook. In the video, you can hear the boy screaming and being pulled away, bare feet and without a jacket, carried by two police officers by his arms and ankles. The bigger issue is I did not see another Inuit person in the video. Um, the child is the only Inuk that I saw in the video and obviously the mother is filming. Who was there representing that child's community? Um, from, an, from a government agency. The mom writing on Facebook that if I tried stopping them, I was going to be arrested, so I stayed calm and recorded. That's why we don't react. The, the fact that we are not outraged and freaking out is because they have the power to take us to jail. So you have to just sort of stand down. In a statement to City News, the Ministry of Health and Social Services say they have requested more information on the event and cannot take a position based on the video. They say this is not a standard procedure. The use of police forces should be a measure of last resort when all other options have been considered and ruled out. At all times, the well-being of the children must be a priority. And the Regional Health Services of Nunavik says what is witnessed in the video is not a standard procedure. However, However, in some rare instances when all else has been attempted to no avail, the support of police officers may be requested. It should be noted that before reaching such a point, a wide range of methods and steps are taken. Police involvement is definitely not the first. Many shocked and angered by the incident, commenting on the Facebook post, I don't care what you did or what he did, this is not okay. And another, I think this could have been dealt with appropriately, not in this traumatizing matter. The, the comparison of, of youth protection being the new, um, you know, residential school is the truth. And now we have the visuals. There needs to be a questioning of why, why we're doing what we're doing. Um, is it helping? I don't think that would have happened um, if the child had not been in Oak. I don't. Indigenous people are treated differently within our system. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.